you know there is one huge fashion fail that can make you look frumpy? Well, we're going to get into it today and I'm going to help you solve that problem so you never look or feel frumpy again. There may be a reason why you feel frumpy, but you never can quite pinpoint what it is. Why does one outfit make you feel dumpy, lumpy, bumpy, frumpy, and you just don't know what it is? You can't pinpoint it. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today and has everything to do with balance. And that balance comes from fit, color, prints and patterns, and even accessories. So let's get into the first one right now. It's all about fit. You may not even be aware of it, but there are some rules in place that will help you create the best balance for your body. And I actually did a video not too long ago on choosing the best outfits for your body. You can check that out right here. But what I'm going to talk to you about today is kind of a little tool that I like to use that works with pretty much everybody. And it's an easy way to think of things in your closet so you can mix and match and put outfits together. It just has to do with loose versus fitted. So if you're wearing a fitted top, you choose a loose bottom. Now that could be anything from a pair of palazzo pants or a flowy skirt or even the new looser jeans. You're always going to want to pair them with a top that's a little bit more fitted because if you have full and full, that's where things start to look frumpy and dumpy and you can't figure out why. That's how you're going to wear a looser bottom. Now, if you have a looser top, you don't want to also wear a looser bottom with it. So if you have an oversized blouse or a tunic or a big relaxed fit sweater, you're always going to pair that with something that's more fitted on the bottom. It could be a pencil skirt. It could be a pair of leggings or slimline pants or skinnier, more fitted jeans. There's lots of options, but if you just think of it that way, those two, that two little rule, always tight with flowy and flowy with tight. It has to be one or the other. You just pick one and you can't go wrong. Now, like I just said, if you're wearing a loose top and a loose bottom, it looks frumpy. Well, that goes the same direction if you wear a tight top and a tight bottom. That also looks a little off. With the exception of an hourglass figure, most figures want to avoid wearing fitted and fitted together. It's just not a good look because it's going to throw off your proportions. It will often put focus on the one area that you want to detract from. Let's say you have a large bust and you decide I'm going to wear tight and tight, you know, fitted, fitted. Well, what that's going to do is draw your eye right to the focal area that you might want to detract from. If you don't want to show off a large bust wearing fitted, fitted is not going to be the answer. And that goes with the same thing with, uh, if you have, if you have larger hips that you don't want to emphasize or a belly, wearing fitted and fitted does the exact opposite of your goal of trying to camouflage either those hips or that tummy that you want to detract from. One fitted, one loose. Okay, the next area of balance that I want to talk about is color balance. And as you know, I love color. So it's something I love to talk about. I love playing with color. But there are some rules that I do to help balance my wardrobe. So when I tend to dress in a really vibrant color, I balance that out by keeping the rest of my outfit very neutral. This shirt, for example, not my brightest, but you know, usually I'll wear a really bright shirt and I'll balance that out with a pair of white jeans or just toned down. I tend to go with white, navy, denim. Those are kind of my go-to neutrals. And they help tone down and provide kind of like a, a neutral palette backdrop. Like if you've ever seen um, interior design, most, if you look a lot of the times, most of the backgrounds, if they have color in them, the backgrounds tend to be very clean, bright, neutral. And that is to allow that main color to pop. So you're going to do the exact same thing in your wardrobe. You're just going to put on one item that has that pop of color and let everything else be that neutral background. And it doesn't mean you can't wear other things. Like I will pair gold accessories, but I'll keep them all gold. Or if I wear all silver, I'll keep all, all of my accessories silver. I just go 
all one. It makes getting dressed very easy and clean and most of all balanced. You can also get balance in your wardrobe with color by choosing some color harmony. And I'm going to get a little geeked out here on color, but if you think of the color wheel, and I'll put it up right here so we can talk about it. Colors that are opposite each other are complementary, as you can see here, and can be balanced well. And sometimes you're like, why do these colors look so good together? And that's the reason why, because they are complementary colors. They just make sense together in nature, and you will find that everywhere in the universe. Well, colors next to each other here on the color wheel are analogous colors, and they create a very harmonious look. And oftentimes you'll see them, uh, they're very common in nature. When you go to a, a forest, for example, and it's just a ver very gorgeous look, and you can put that same feel together in your wardrobe. Even if you look at a sunset or the ocean you'll see different depths and different shades of those analogous colors so to have fun with color you can definitely use it in your wardrobe now i like to think of it often too when uh, when we think of fall colors we think of like orange and yellow and brown and because they are all very close to each other on the color wheel it's a very harmonious look and I think people are very drawn to that. Okay, the next balance I wanna to talk to you about is print and pattern balance. This is one of those things that can make your outfit look completely gorgeous or completely chaotic. So let's talk about that. Now I've talked about prints. When I did a video, I'll put it up here on leopard print or animal prints. And this actually applies to any print that you wear. Like, I could pick any of the prints here in my closet and apply that same rule that I'm going to talk about now. And it really is the one print rule. Just stick to one print per outfit. For example, if you're going to wear a printed top, you're going to keep everything else really nice and neutral. Like for this top, I would wear this with white jeans, white skirt, white shorts, and then keep all of my I always do gold, but you could do all white accessories or you could do, you could do all tan accessories. There's lots of options that you can do, but just keep it all very neutral, all very similar, and it will help. It will make the print pop and it will make your whole silhouette look amazing. The next print tip that I have really has to do with the size of the print. If you are going to get into different prints, which it's getting risky, but if it's something that you want to do, you want to keep them of the same color palette. And you want to mix one larger print with one smaller print. And that will help keep them harmonious. It will help them play well together. In fact, I have an example of that in one dress. So this dress, for example, has, this is an engineered print. So it has this print going this way and then this all over print. But what makes it work is that the color palette is the same and the sizes of the prints are totally different. Look at this is a very large, it's easier to see on the back. It's a very large print with not a lot of white space. And then this one, same thing. It's a, a smaller print, not a lot of white space, but the same color palette. And that's what allows these prints to play perfectly together. Okay, the next balance that I want to talk about is accessory balance. Like most of us kind of forget about our accessories. We're, we're on the way out the door, we just grab them and go. But if you have kind of a system for your accessories and think about how they're going to balance with your wardrobe, don't just go buy a bag and not think of what it's going to work with. Your accessories will serve you much, much better if you put a little thought into what you're choosing and why. So for example, the first one I want to talk about is really statement jewelry. And I know I, I love some big earrings. I love big bracelets. I have a few necklaces, but I consider myself more of a, a bracelet and earring girl. But if I were going to wear the earrings, a necklace, bracelet, I would tend to, if I'm going to go big earrings, big bracelet, I would completely skip the necklace. Now, if I decided I wanted to wear a big chunky necklace, I would go with a very, very tiny earring and much thinner jewelry on my wrist or just kind of pared down. 
So just choose one item that's going to be the star of the show when it comes to the accessories and then keep everything either off or very pared down because the first thing you know uh jewelry is meant to like catch attention and sparkle but if your eye is like wait do i look here do i look here do i look here it doesn't know the viewer does not know where to focus and then you kind of lose them so if you have one showpiece that you're showing off then that will be the star of the show today it's my earrings. I don't have anything here. I don't have anything here. And your eye is drawn right to my earrings and not anything else. Or maybe to my microphone, but for the most part, the focus is really meant to be up on my earrings. Another way to add balance to your wardrobe and to your outfit is kind of what I've been talking about all along with these accessories. Like I like to have all gold accessories. So I have a gold tote bag, a gold crossbody bag, even a gold clutch. And then I have shoes in various heel heights, wedges, slides, and a lot of them are gold. And then I like gold accessories. So I can mix and match any of my outfits just because I've got my gold accessories and I just throw that on. So it looks very pulled together, very harmonious, and it goes with pretty much everything in my wardrobe. And provides a lot of balance to my whole outfit. Let me know if I missed anything on having a balanced and harmonious wardrobe and not looking frumpy. I would love to hear, put that in the comments below. Anything I mentioned, I'll put links in the description and I will see you in the next video.